So, kind of like the last time, the warm up on these was a bit itchy on the li on the hips. Uh, itchy, whatever that means. Yeah, they were feeling a bit stiff, so I really tried to drive through my heels and push my butt back, which eases them up, makes them feel a little bit better. So that kind of worked. Because when it got to working sets, kind of like the last session, these were pretty easy. The hardest element of this was cardio fitness. I mean, this is a lot of work. And uh, between the sets, I was really gasping for air. But, um, you know, to the point of when you're not going to see it in the set so much. I mean, I should have included in the video. But just before I walked up to this, it took a lot of prep and inner strength just to approach the bar. I mean, I felt like I was going to pass out. So, um, yeah, once you're in it, you're in it. You don't really notice like the cardio fitness element of it. You're just squatting. But, like... Yeah, the only thing, these, these, aren't, these aren't really my weight yet, if anything. I mean, I've still got at least another 10 kilos in the tank before these start to get in reps. So, hoping to get up to 140 soon, I really am. Um, as for the bench, funny setup here. The setup was cool, but then I had a little snafu right at the end, which always seems so long when you're doing it yourself. But when you're in, when you watch the video back, it just happens really quickly. My right hand left as you watch the screen, the uh, wrist grab came off and it felt like it took three days to put it back on but actually it took that long anyway um wanted to correct the errors of the last bench session the last bench session i went a little bit too hard and i ended up doing an rp 10 which killed my reps in the final set for this one i banged out a pretty easy six to start off the day so it was a little bit more weight and the reps felt more or less identical to the one before which you know should mean i'm getting a little bit stronger that's the idea it felt clean they were always going up felt a little bit little bit, if anything a little bit lighter than the last time 100 percent honest so that's a good thing for this one here i was mindful of what i did last time and actually i think it's um i don't think it was an overcorrection, but i possibly had two in the tank at the end of this so a possible six could have happened here but you know that's possible i think i think i think that's the right place but you know it felt pretty good those felt pretty strong those went up clean as for these this was the final set this was a pretty secure five um the last rep was not really that difficult but it's i mean like if you look here it's not going up at super pace so it's possible i didn't have another one but I probably did but either that way i gave it a 9.5 and um yeah i got the five uh rep minimum for that so i'll be going up quite a bit getting up to 90 kilos which is good um as for the deadlift since my back has been pulling out of this a lot i've decided um that my my hips are too high so i'm bringing them down a little bit as well, you'll see in the picture when i grab the bar i wanted to show the entire setup for these because i wanted to try how important it was getting my feet right for this um really widen out the grip to really bring my hips closer to the bar as you can see in the picture there the first rep always garbage the second rep was not great but then from the third rep i did find the groove on these as you can see really locking in the quads really locking in the hamstrings you can see, even see the hamstring flex i pull it there um and these went up pretty easy i'll give it an 8.5 but i think it's more the pain in my hands from the hook gripper than anything I, these went up pretty nice um so yeah pain in the hip but we'll deal with it peace